Hi kids! Today we will learn about circles. So let's get started. Kids, we know it's a circle. Now, we will learn more things about a circle, like center of a circle, radius of a circle, diameter of a circle, chord, arc, and circumference of a circle. So let's start. Circle Circle is a 2D figure which is formed of points equidistant from the center. This is the center of the circle. That is, circle is made up of points which are all at equal distance from the center. And all the points are at equal distance from the center in a circle. Now let's learn what is a radius. A radius is a straight line from the center of circle to the boundary of a circle. Or radius is a distance between the boundary of the circle and the center of the circle. Let's draw any line from the center to the boundary. It will be a radius. You can draw any number of radius. Now let's learn what is a diameter. Straight line that divides the circle in exactly two parts is known as a diameter. It is also two times the radius. Now let's learn what is a chord. A straight line whose both end points lie on the circle is called the chord of a circle. Here, A, B, C, D, E, F are all chords of this circle. We can make any number of chords. Longest chord is a chord that passes through the center of a circle, that is, the diameter. Diameter is the longest chord of the circle. Now, let's learn what is circumference. Circumference is the boundary of a circle. All these figures are showing circumference of the circle. Now let's learn what is an arc. Any small or big portion of the circumference is called arc of the circle. All these figures are representing arcs. Some are smaller portions of circle and some bigger portions but all are arcs of different sizes. So kids, we learnt about a circle, its radius, diameter, chord, arc, and circumference. Now let's learn how we can find out the circumference of a circle. We know circumference is a distance around the boundary of the circle, like its perimeter of a square. For a circle, it's a circumference. If we have a circle and we know its radius, we can find its circumference by using the formula 2 pi r, where pi equals 3.14. Let's take an example. Here we have a circle and we are given with its radius. It is 9 centimeters. Let's find out the circumference of this circle. We know circumference equals 2 pi r. That is 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r. We have r equals 9 centimeters and pi equals 3.14. So circumference equals 2 multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by 9, which will give us 56.52 centimeters. So circumference of this circle equals 56.52 centimeters. 
Now, let's find out the circumference of this circle. We know circumference equals 2 pi r. That is, 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r. We have radius equals 3 centimeters in this circle. And pi is always equal to 3.14. So here we have circumference equal to 2 multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by 3. So here it will give us 18.84 centimeters. So circumference of this circle with radius 3 centimeters is 18.84 centimeters. Now we know how to find out the circumference of the circle. Now let's learn how we can calculate the area of a circle. Area of a circle is the area inside the circumference of a circle. We can find the area of circle by using the formula pi r square. That is, pi multiplied by r multiplied by r. Now, let's take an example. Here we have a circle, and its radius is given, which is 3 centimeters. We know area of circles pi r square, so we will write it as area of circle equals 3.14 multiplied by r square, that is 3 multiplied by 3. Now, 3.14 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, that is 3.14 multiplied by 9, it will give us 28.26. So the area of this circle is 28.26 centimeters square, as area is always mentioned in square units. So kids, today we learn a lot about circles. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.